In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to fillet or round off the edges of our keychain. Currently, our keychain is very blocky. It's very square. If you put it in your pocket, it's not going to be as comfortable. You're going to have sharp corners, sharp points, and you don't want that when you're sticking something in your pocket. You can see that I'm hovering over one point right now. This is something you don't want. It wears down. It's just not as preferable as something that might be more smooth and more rounded. Okay, so we want to get rid of points like this or corners, edges like you see here. To do this, we're going to use a very simple cool tool called Fillet. Okay, so Fillet is right here, Shift F for a shortcut. We also have a chamfer. Chamfer is a great tool, but this is a little bit more, we're still getting those flat edges that end up wearing down faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our Fillet tool. I'm going to set our radius. So our radius for this, we're going to try and round this whole end over. This is going to kind of look like a pill shape or a um, set of dog tags or a tag you might have for your pet. Okay. Um, for this, because we're going to be making a curve that is halfway across, we need to create this to be halfway, half the width of our keychain. So if we remember that was 7 eighths, the easiest way to do that is just say 7 sixteenths. I'm going to type in 7 sixteenths, enter. Okay. Now we need to select the entities to fill it. So I'm going to select the vertical edges. I'll click on edge one. And zoom out a little bit here. You can see a preview how it's curving this. It's creating a consistent circular curve. It is tangent for its propagation. It allows edges to overflow. We could change this to conical, or conic, or curvature, but we're just going to leave this as circular. Okay, I'm going to select my second edge. And my third edge, you can see how we're getting the shape. Some softwares may allow you to kind of get a sneak hide, hide in view here. For this one, we need to turn it. So I just came up to, came up to my view orientation cube, and I selected a corner that turns this. I could also use my arrow keys. I'm going to select my fourth corner, and I have selected each of those objects. I'll demonstrate again quickly. Fill it, radius, 7 over 16, enter, edge 1, 2, 3, rotate, 4, green check mark. I'm going to go back to my isometric view. And we're done. We fill it at all of our edges. They're nice and round, nice and smooth. In our next and last video, I will demonstrate how to add text.